moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long reigning champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night end. Ready to fight? Ready. Our round one underway. This man is all the rage. The Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Very difficult challenge for the opponent here tonight. This is an outstanding first round fighter. Outstanding fighter overall. But the man is a huge shot. Great shot, man. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, close your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Inside the close guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Tags him with that uppercut. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Oh, that one landed, yep. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. And there's a oh, and that is as good as it gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kip Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. When this guy has his opponent hurt very bad, he'll get Shots being landed on both sides. Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, oh, it's a perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot was really just over two minutes to go. Oh, flying knee to the head. Big right hand. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Oh, bad spot for that cut right on the lip. Broke him open. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And forth we go. Oh, All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments to this. He's taking too many of these shots at top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. See his hands look good, a lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. 
He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Under a minute to go. Oh, just a nasty I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Nice job fighting at the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division, and he put it to good use there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping over and over. He's throwing it. And he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. Choice. Oh! Edmonds is in a takedown. Final seconds are well done. Oh. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly done. The submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready to fight? All right, let's get to round two. Nice jab. Throws the team. Uppercut lands. Misses again with a right punch. Uppercut lands. Lands another strike up. His opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you like. So you get it. Oh, no. All right, so the head damage continues to land. And at this point, man, got to think the ringside position is even getting out to the check. Oh, yeah. You can tell that they want to check it out. Perhaps up to the pole. Putting together a great game plan. For staying on that face, making sure that when he saw the swelling start, he continued to drive him down that path to where he is right now, where he's almost under unrecognizable. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. He's in the mount. Choi's in half guard now. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. What a fight. What a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fight. The takedown is not there. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. He's hurt. He's wobbling. Oh, my goodness. We approach the two-minute mark in round two. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. You know, when guys start to tell you kick in here again, they start to pop. A lot of trouble. 
Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Right into side control. Changing the position. Oh, nice combination of ground and pound here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? Oh, look at that. High-level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Very hard to try to get the sub. There it is. Now he's going to mount. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game time. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land. And he lands another knee there. DC it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Oh, he connects there. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. Oh, oh. He's out! 